Oh, they're going to have to glue you back together in hell. <laughs> Let's do it! Kaboom! All right, time to do the Demo Man proud. That means we're covering this Vihander. And the training sword as well. I figured putting two polar opposites up against each other would be pretty entertaining. In one hand, we have this Vihander, the biggest sword in the game. In the other, the training sword, the dumbest sword in the game. One is a lethal killing tool, and the other is a useless piece of shit. One belongs on the battlefield, and the other should stay back in the training yard. In the future, I'm planning on making a video about the fashion of Mordau. So if you want to show off your meme builds, character cosplay, or historical loadouts, feel free to post a pic of them in the fashion channel of my Discord. Link in the description. I hope to see you there. Anyway, let's get into these weapon stereotypes for the Zweihander and Training Sword. Only a champion man would hold the blade of Unicorn in his hands, and I, Thaddeus, am that man. I have seen the pain in my reflection and watched the strength of my brother unflinching. My quest is one of love, but also in this moment of forgiveness, of redemption. Whoops! My path has been unstable, but my conviction is born to damn the fuckers who doubted me, to lessen the assholes who tested me. <laughs> To right what is wrong. To restore faith that has long been lost. And to rise to great heights, even beyond my own legend as a great cocksmith, master pintsman, and stunningly handsome prince of light in these dark, dark ages. True trials await, and I will greet thee with the hammer of my fist and the slide of my sword. Made famous by the Land Connect, the Zweihander is a weapon for true Kriegsfolk, for men of war. It's long, it's strong, and it's about to get the friction on. It's fast as fuck, boy. Bitch. Through multiple nerfs, the Zweihander has accumulated a slow windup and swing speed, which can be fun for faking out panic parries but can also lead to you getting your head chopped off before you even get through its windup. <laughs> this way it goes. This sword has tons of reach, and a spear-like stab, which makes it great for catching people off guard and poking out an eye or two. The Zweihander can make you feel like you're really good at this game. Flying around like a Beyblade, slicing through the enemy lines feels really satisfying. But, eventually it's gonna catch up to you, and you'll run into another mercenary who will show you just how ass you really are. Hello. In all honesty, the Zweihander is big. I mean really big. Like more sword than you'd ever need in a fight. It's so long you can hit people behind you before you even touch the person you are targeting. Your ass is ass and I'm the grass man, punk. The Zweihander is so large, it's really more of a polearm than a sword. Which is reflected in its alt mode. Just like the great sword, it takes a half sword grip. But this time, it actually does something. The Zweihander's alt mode bumps up the attack speed, while also increasing its stab damage to light armor. I hope I didn't scare you with my face-to-face -face man fighting. Born out of a dick measuring contest that got out of hand, 
This Vihander is a weapon for those overachieving assistant to the regional manager types. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Okay! The Dwihander might not be the best weapon against armor, but it deals tons of damage to naked flesh and light armor, lopping off heads and limbs with ease. Oh! Judgment is nigh! For the Dwihander! Is I! So he's kind of like long sword, except dirty and worse. No, much better. No one gets long sword the way they feel. This is why I pander. Wow. That's my favorite part of Mordow. The authority. And the fear. Yes, exactly. Zweihanders fall into two camps. They either know what they're doing, or they're new to the game, and they just pick the first class with a big cool sword. The Brigand Newbies are easy pickings. They're fun to bully, easy to kill, but they constantly horizontal swing, which usually leads to the death of their teammates. Whoops! My mistake! You're terrible! Look, men! Look how terrible he is! On the other hand, if the guy behind the sword knows how to use it, you're about to be in a world of shit. Oh no. Ah! I never did. So why hander pros are a force to be reckoned with. They're probably a shiv vet. And if so, then they know how to let it rip. The way I see it is why hander pros come in two forms. The first is the guy who found some dead brigand sword on the ground. This is his wet dream, to have the biggest sword in the game and full plate armor. And this guy knows just how to take full advantage of it. The other form are the Lands Connects. Those light armor, high fashion mercenaries. They love to talk about historical accuracy. And they'll screech at you anytime you bring up anything that's not accurate. They eat, sleep, and breathe historical accuracy. These are the kinds of guys who break down your favorite movie and tell you how it's not historically accurate, so they'll shit all over it. Basically, they're Euro weebs. How you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? You know, Brandon, look out. Whoa! 99 you damage. You <laughs> if there's one weapon synonymous with team killing, it's the Zweihander. You really have to be careful, or you're just gonna end up chopping into your teammates with this thing. King Kong, grab a friendly perk if you're gonna swing your Z. I know I shouldn't have to say this, but if you're gonna use the Zweihander, use the friendly perk. When you're swinging around this big metal fuck stick, it's inevitable you're gonna hit a teammate or two. And I'm pretty sure you don't wanna get server kicked for excessive team killing. Stick to overhead swings and stabs, and do not, I repeat, do not run around swinging horizontally like a retard. It's a horrible idea, and it's just gonna lead to moments like this. A lot of damage. Again, I acted like a brainlet with this sword so you don't have to, but if you do end up killing your teammate for the umpteenth time, it wouldn't kill you to apologize. Hey there! Hello! Ha! I've had jobbies tougher than you! Dodge this, you bastard! <laughs> if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. The trading sword is a tool for instructing new players. It does negligible damage, so you can bop your squire in the back of the head with it without cutting off their ear. Very clever, sir. You mainly see the trading sword in the hands of people teaching their friends to play, or people practicing their fundamentals. All right, Cumberbrains. 
Show me exactly Sir, how you chamber a stab. Sir, you can't think while the drill instructor is hitting him on his head, sir! You can't think while I'm giving you a few love taps? How the fuck are you going to- No, not to panic Perry when the mall man gets in your face! The fuck are you even doing here? Sir! I got lost on the way to- Minecraft! Sir! <laughs> It's cool to see people teaching others how to play. Dual servers are a great place to learn and improve your skills, and that's really where the training sword belongs. But if you're trying to kill somebody with this sword, I can tell you from experience, it's gonna be hard, if not impossible. Get it! Did you guys hear my ribs crack? Die! Nice. To kill someone with the training sword, you have to work really hard and hit them at least a dozen times. And even then, I fucking guarantee your teammate is just gonna steal your kill. I'm a unitard! I mean, if I'm being honest, the training sword is just too dull to do any real damage. Your best bet is people will think you have a sword. But if you keep hitting them with it and they don't die, they're gonna realize you don't have a real weapon. At that point, just about anything else would be more helpful than what you have in your hands right now. But what if you used your hands? Between the two, it's much easier to kill somebody with your fist than the training sword. I guess that leads me to the real stereotype for this thing. Those weapon switching boxer types. You know the old swing, faint, drop your sword, clock him in the jaw. I was gonna rip his heart out, I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. It's really hard to pull off in first person, but I don't play in third. <laughs> I'm in danger! Either way, I'm a pretty pathetic pugilist, so it's not really my kind of play style. But it was an interesting technique to try out. So if you're ever stuck with nothing but the training sword, use everything to your advantage. Pick up rocks, grab hammers off the objective, and don't forget you can use your feet. Just kick them into a well and let gravity do the rest. Alright, I think that'll do it for the Zweihander training sword. If there were any stereotypes I missed, or things that you find funny about these weapons, leave them down in the comments below. Also, I wanted to shout out my thumbnail artist, Spooky Fox. Go check them out on Twitter and let them know what you think of all the fantastic work they've done on my thumbnails. Other than that, the next stereotype video will be on the Messer and the Bastard Sword. So if you have comments for those, you know where to leave them. All right, thanks for checking out the video, guys. Have a great day. Later. Ha 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 ha!